Okay, so why do I keep starting my videos looking like? I haven't purposely meant to do like two vegan makeup related videos next to each other, but here we are. So I ordered these things like a few days ago and it's just a new brand that have come onto Beauty Bay. I don't think they're a new brand in general. They were on the what's new section. Nothing can get by me on Beauty Bay because when I say I am on that what's new and the back in stock section every single day, every single day, like I, nothing can get by me, okay? I'll always know what's new on Beauty Bay. Just spilled that. Did I even explain what's going on? No, I didn't. Anyway, so I want to try this new brand because they are called, right, I don't know how you say it. Is it Inica? Inica? Inica. Okay, for starters, we can't say the brand, but I'm gonna be testing this brand anyway. Um, and they are an organic brand, they're cruelty free, and they're vegan as well. So I'm basically gonna be testing out some of their skin products. Really, I would have loved to get like a full face of their makeup to try, but you know what? It's kind of expensive. What I've done is probably the smartest and the cheapest thing that I could think of was to get this little set. So I was originally actually gonna get the foundation to try the big one, but it was like 33 pounds, which is kind of expensive for a foundation. But then these came on the website, which are a little trial pack. So there's ones for different skin tones. I got the medium slash dark one, so I'm hoping it's gonna be okay. And then I've got a concealer as well to try. So the trial pack has the primer foundation and two mineral foundations. I'm gonna use them as like setting powder for my face because it's pretty much the same thing. So that's what the little trial pack has. These are absolutely tiny inside. They're so cute. You'll see it when I open them. And then I just got the concealer separately. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're just gonna be testing out this brand. Like I said, I've never tried them before. Did I even say that? No, I've never tried the brand before. So we're gonna see if it's any good and if it's worth the money because kind of expensive if you just want to see me test all of this shit out then subscribe if you want to if you don't that's okay and give the video a thumbs up as well and we'll get testing why is my coffee so foamy okay so skincare's done as always when i get out of the shower that's what i do straight away let's get testing this in this little box this was really really affordable this was eight pound fifty which I don't really know if that's good because the stuff is tiny. I think it is actually. It's so cute as well, the little box. And it has like little paper in it. Like it's so cute, look at that. It's like a little gift. Oh, it's really, really cute. There's like little paper shit in there, like shredded paper, really cute. Okay, so the stuff, oh, look how tiny they are. They're so cute, like, oh. The powders, I have never seen powders this small. Oh. Like, Honestly, like when I was like opening this up, I felt like a giant because like look how small these are. They're so cute. I'm just gonna get started with the face primer, I guess. Should I zoom in a little bit? I keep getting up. I need like an remote, which I do have, but I don't use because I can't be outside in it. That didn't do anything. Oh well. So it's the pure primer with hyaluronic acid. Ooh, it's got aloe vera in it. Aloe vera juice. That's good. So I'm assuming from it being like a hyaluronic acid primer, it's just gonna be like a hydrating one, which they are my favorite type of primers. All right, it smells, it smells really nice. That, oh my God, I don't know what is in there, but it's reminding me of, I went to uh, Zanzibar, which is a Tanzanian island like a few years ago, like after I finished college. I'm like, I don't know what, is it like lemongrass or something? There's something in here that's like taking me back to like Africa. Lemon something. <laughs> Why am I actually a genius? Okay, it's not lemongrass, but there's some citrus thing or like lemon myrtle. This feels so nice. I can actually see myself buying like the big version of this. Well, actually I haven't tested it yet, so we don't know, but. It smells really nice. It feels like a moisturizer. It's not like really thick either. Like, I don't know if you could see it when I like poured it out. It wasn't like a thick white consistency. It was more like a light milky kind of 
liquid feels really nice it feels really hydrating and it's gone quite tacky as well so i feel like this could be a really good primer okay so i'm impressed with that nice. foundation time so because it's like a, i'm thinking it's gonna be like a very light foundation like kind of like a skin tint situation so i kind of want to use a brush for it so this is the liquid foundation what shade did i get so i got the shade honey which to be fair the only reason i bought this whole kit was when i was looking at the foundation shades honey was like the one that i thought i was gonna be so i was gonna buy that like the full size one and luckily in the medium dark kit is this yeah the medium dark kit honey is the shade of foundation you get so obviously if you're gonna get the kit or any of the kits just check like what foundation shade you would be because if it's going to be a different shade than what you get you're not going to be able to use that so luckily i was okay with that so i'm hoping the color is going to be all right so yeah i'm assuming it's going to be very like light coverage it's going to be very natural not like a full coverage bitch you know so i'm going to put like a fair amount on because i can't see it being like super full coverage I feel like it's kind of drying quickly so maybe like work in sections because it's kind of dry dried like it's dried like pretty quick on my face i'm kind of scared to get to my forehead i think it does yeah it definitely does dry quick okay so i've blended it out it isn't as light coverage as i actually thought it's giving me a lot more coverage than i expected it to i don't really know what i think about it i feel like because it dried like pretty quick like on my face when I was like blending it out like I don't know it felt a bit thick which is really weird because it looks so liquidy when it comes out but yeah it felt a bit thick so I don't actually know I mean it doesn't feel like heavy or bad or anything like that on the skin it looks really nice so you can still see like a bit of my skin peeking through I'd say it's got like light medium coverage but well, no, I'd say it's got medium coverage because it's not like a super light where you can really see my skin through. I don't know, maybe if it's like because of the primer is like quite sticky, but it shouldn't do. It blended really nicely into my skin and it looks really nice. I don't know, I'm a bit like... I need to try it a bit more. Okay, moving on. Concealer time. So I did get the full-size concealer because it didn't come in the kit. I'm pretty sure this was £22, I want to say. So I, don't, I can't remember how many different shades they have, but I got the shade medium. I don't know how the shade's gonna be either, so it's probably, I mean, if the foundation was too light, I'm assuming this is gonna be too light for me as well, but we'll see. Just because of the foundation situation we just had, I'm just gonna do one eye. Okay, I don't like the that because kind of messy but it's fine let's not complain i'm gonna blend this out first okay that concealer blended out really really nicely it looks really nice it feels nice and hydrating as well it's got a nice glow to it so i think i actually like the concealer more than the foundation actually Coverage wise, I feel like it's covered my under eyes pretty well. I just think you can still see a bit of like my dark circles just because the shade isn't the right shade. Like it's just a tiny bit too light. I feel like if this was like the same shade as like the foundation, because I don't like having like bright under eyes just because my under eyes are so dark. If it, the shade was right, I feel like it literally be so nice. It's kind of giving me like jouet vibes but like less full coverage because that is just like super full coverage not mad okay powder time so there's two different shades that i got one of them looks far too dark but i might mix them because of the under eye situation so the shades that i got are patience and trust they're both p1 so i don't really know what that means powder uh powder one 
but then why are they different colours though? Okay, I don't understand that situation, but the lighter one is patience and then trust is the kind of darker one. So I think I'm just going to mix the two together and powder my under eyes with them. I know they're powder foundations, so I get that they might not set my under eyes. Like dipping them like that. So I don't know how this is gonna go. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so it feels really smooth. I like how it looks. I feel like it hasn't like fully matted the skin, so I think if you've got dry skin i feel like this will be a really really nice powder i know it's not an under eye setting powder but it's obviously just a powder foundation but i mean it set the under eyes pretty nicely so we'll see if like i get any creasing or anything like by the time i finish the rest of my makeup but i can still kind of see like a glow from like the concealer and stuff like through the powder so like i said if you have dry skin i feel like you'll probably really like the powder foundation Okay, let me just go over everything because what have I even tested? Primer, okay, let's we'll start with the primer. I really like the primer. I think it's really, really nice. Lightweight, hydrating. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep using that. I love that. The foundation for me, uh, well, actually that's it. The face primer, what it kind of reminds me of, like to compare to is, I don't know if anyone's ever tried the Kat Von D. This is such like an old product, but I, oh my god, I used to love this primer. The Kat Von D Locket, the Locket Face Primer. Oh my god, that was one of my favourite primers, like, ever. So yeah, the Kat Von D Locket Face Primer, that's what this kind of reminds me of. So yeah, that's like a good comparison, I think, if you've ever tried that. Uh, Foundation-wise, full-size-wise, I'd probably give the foundation a pass, just because it... I don't know... I can't really explain it, like I don't want to like give it a load of shit because obviously I've only tried it once but as a first impression I found it okay compared to like the other stuff I think it just kind of felt a bit thick um, kind of when I was just blending it out and it dried a bit quickly and the finish was okay I just, for me, I prefer something a bit more lightweight and a bit more dewy and just with it being like a kind of like natural kind of foundation I feel like if it was more like the concealer, I probably would have liked it a bit more. So, concealer wise, I'm really happy that I got the full size of the concealer because I do really like it. Like I did say, if the shade was like a tiny bit darker, then it'd probably be like perfect. But I could just mix it in with like my Dose of Colors one or just like another concealer. That's it for the video. I obviously have left the rest of my face in the description. That came out really weird what i've used on my face is in the description box if you want to know but that is it for the video so i hope you enjoyed it if you've tried the brand let me know thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you didn't enjoy it then just and yeah i will see you in my next video